Well, back seaters, we uh, we had to go mute there for a little bit. We were uh, somebody spotted a stolen car that we were looking for that had fled a couple departments, and um, so as we converged on the stolen car, it took off. Ironically, it just took off a little before we converged on it. Then it fled about a quarter mile, and then the occupants bailed, so we have an active perimeter looking for the occupants. We'll let you see the uh, stolen that we were So we're live now. Don't say or do anything that we wouldn't want on live. You were okay on that other? I don't have any idea. I don't have any idea. So there's Pat there. I dropped Pat, and uh, then the suspects kind of fled to the northwest here. Stolen out of Edina. I think it's stolen out of Edina, and then it, it's a nice Audi. KSM 975. And um, unfortunately, there were some valuable items inside the car when it was stolen. And uh, we obviously couldn't give it away that we were coming. I suppose it's even possible when we went offline that they got suspicious, but Call Kyle Meestead. Calling Kyle Meestead. Hey there. I think we are live, Kyle. You are back. You must not be going through OBS. No, I'm not going through OBS, but can you shut the comments off? Already done. All right. No, yeah. no we're, we're live. We had to shut off because we were moving in on a stolen car so that's why we uh, had to move had to shut off and then we we're back on and then we were off etc etc bottom line is it was somewhat problematic but it is what it is so but if you got if you can shut the comments off of course the political stuff has started already off thanks so much i'll see you later so we're looking for two suspects that fled that car probably going to steal another car that's the downside or find uh, someone's home that they can hide out in which they've got a fair number of fair number of contacts down here in the Wilson Street area Number 
I'll go back and pick Pat up and we'll continue our uh, live on patrol broadcast. And I could use two more cars, vehicle in it, all Very, very tough to conduct covert. Covert maneuvers when we are live on patrol. Sounds like the stepmother pushed him off. Yeah, I'm just turning a tail. Ten seconds longer, if they'd stayed in that parking spot ten seconds longer, even five seconds, we would have had all those cars to block them in. That's just the nature of... Yeah, the nature of the beast. So generally, we're better off moving quicker, sooner rather than later. But that was pretty soon, actually, for us. There was a helicopter. It was a. We were waiting for a state trooper uh, plane, but they had to go to a different, a different location. So we kind of lost that opportunity. Minneapolis needed them more than us. We do think you have everyone in custody there, but there was a suspicious that just came in at 469 roof. I told us there were two unknown males around our back towards that continued over the fence west on through their yards. Just as info in case it is related. Happy that. Uh, will you send that to me, please? Yeah, back and grab Pat here real quick. Pat! Here I come! Okay. Thomas gonna tow it or? Um. No worries, you your uh, What's her name is coming back to, uh, Swab it until it. She didn't have time to swab oh, it when, when this call came up. Okay. You want to make sure I go the right way? Next park. Oh. Block all the traffic. Let's see. Park. We're on Ruth. Ruth. So 469 right yeah. should be, yeah, it's going to be north. And then left? Yes. Let's see what numbers we're at here. Okay, 420, so about mid-block, okay. they were running west. Let's find the right street. What do we got here? Jane. Two in custody. In custody? I thought so. Yeah. Who yeah. caught him? 
Uh, Nicole. Oh, she did. Yep. Okay, but then... You heard it for two more? Yes. Okay. You heard the names, correct? No, I did not. Oh, okay. I didn't want to burn anything on the... But you can mute it if you want to tell me.
All right, we're live. 2007. All right, it's, it's the toughest situation when uh, when we have to uh, mute it. Well, we don't do that that often. 2007, go ahead. So we have two suspects in custody. That's what we were doing there. And um, we know there's two other suspects. I guess that's fair to say, right? That's fair to say. We have the car, two suspects in custody. Ashley, are you headed over this way, the toes? Tell her just to go and process the car. She's on St. Paul Street right now. She's waiting for St. Paul Squad to get there to help her clear a um, clear a garage, make sure they're not sitting in there, and then she's going to process that vehicle. Copy that. Falter for that, huh? No. Nope. Just told him we can process it later. Just ask her how long it's going to be. Can you find how how long she's going to be? Yep, I'll give her a phone call right now. Tell her that if it be a while, we'll just process it at the impound lot. If it's going to be a while, we'll process it at the impound lot, the sheriff says. No, that was uh, turned oh, out. Sure. Did you say the toll truck is there? Three. Three. The guys in the back can clear. 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 The A lot of moving parts here to this situation. Pat, why don't you tell them uh, uh, the back seat is a little more about this car. But when it was stolen, when it was seen, I, t I didn't mention what was in. I said there were some valuable items in there. Right. Uh, I'm going to go back into our thread here to uh, give the sequence of events here. So, uh, last night, let's see here. Last night, uh, this white Audi S5 fled from uh, the Dyna police. There was uh, an LPR hit on it last night in the area of Franklin and Nicollet, headed westbound. And then it fled from Minneapolis officers this afternoon uh, at Lindale and 24th Avenue South. And then it was spotted down off of uh, Shepherd Road in the lower Hidden Falls Drive. And then it got spotted up at the bowling alley here. And we attempted to uh, move in to take it, but uh, we were about two Five seconds, seconds, three seconds, a little Five too seconds. late. And it took off and they hopped right over a big curb blocking off uh, 
the end of the lot leading down to Hudson Road. How they got over it, I have no idea. But it uh, sounded like they did a lot of damage to the bottom of the car. And they uh, took off west on Hudson Road and bailed out behind the laundromat at Ruth and Hudson. And at least uh, two suspects are in custody. Two are outstanding. I think that pretty much sums it up. Yeah. And uh, the outstanding suspect is well known to us, and we've arrested him several times. And I'm sure his family's listening, and he's going to go back to jail. You'd think after a certain number of times in jail it would start sinking in that maybe this isn't the lifestyle you should lead. Really sorry for how jumbled this created, uh, what a jumble this created for Live on Patrol. The only other option for us would be to not participate and then at this point we need every car possible in the mix and uh, if we didn't participate that really wouldn't give you the full flavor of what we're into, right? Yeah, very true. Very true. You have picky friends. Call Joe Miller. I gotta call the expert, Joe Miller. 14 meters, uh, Juvenile Street, talking back. Call Joe Miller. Calling Joe Miller, home. Any answers? I can advise. Go ahead and mute for a minute. A little bit. Okay. Our analyst, Joe Miller. Yeah, definitely. Maybe I'll get one too. 
Pat and I are just talking about maybe getting some earbuds for uh, our confidential channels. Not the most comfortable things in the world, but it's uh, very practical, I think. At times. The problem is sometimes you can't hear other channels. So. This is an important arrest for us, by the way, because uh, this car has been seen and chased so many times. But also, we know the offenders in there have been our repeat offenders. And we're always very, very into getting the repeat offenders off the street. That's how you reduce crime with the repeat offenders. The repeat offenders are out there. It's very, very busy. They stay busy all the time. They don't stop stealing. And it's important to get them off the street for stretches of time. I'm going to let Pat uh, sit with you. I'm going to run in for just a couple of minutes. And you know what I'm going to do while you're in there? Oh, sure. I'm going to go through two weeks worth of shout outs. Okay. Because well, we person. weren't able to do shout outs last week. You're a good person. You're a good person. But also reporting it from the well, we got shots fired off of Wyzetta and Rice Street. It's been happening uh, with some regularity lately in that right around there. So, well, I'll pull in the garage pit. In case you haven't seen our inside of our Sally Port, I don't know if they ever fixed the other door. We, had, we were last week we were driving out this end. Oh really? Yeah. Five two six. Yep. Looks good. Me and five two six. We are ten eight. Show us both out on five three four. It's going to be a boring image for a little bit. Chubby. But uh, I'll try to keep you entertained, folks. Yeah, maybe you know you can put a light on there, a little red light, you know, blue light. <laughs> and uh, I'll be right back. I'm just going to go check on what we're doing here with these guys. I'll be on the phone if you need me. All right. Can you call the Econ Supervisor? Copy. We'll be out. We'll come about ten hundred. All right. I'm gonna go. Th forgive me. I'm gonna go through these kind of fast. Uh, I want to get them done. I don't want to miss it. Amelia Wana turned twenty-three on August twenty-eighth. From your dad and Jeannie, Amelia. Hope it was a great birthday. Are you available to call the Consonant Supervisor? Thank you to okay. all the backseaters who participated in the donation event at the Law Enforcement Center last Saturday. Jackets, snow pants, hats, gloves, mittens, boots, blankets, sleeping bags are all especially appreciated for our homeless residents. Reverend Spence reports our next donation event will be for toys and will be held after Thanksgiving. He'll provide more event information when it's available. I think that actually was set for next Saturday, but I'm not sure. Don't hold me to that. Uh, backseater Dan Taylor wanted to share a poem he saw that reminded him of Bob and I. Today you could be standing next to someone who's trying their best not to fall apart. So whatever you do today, do it with kindness in your heart. Thank you for that, Dan. It's very nice. Happy 25th wedding anniversary to Tina and Rob Harris. And uh, Rob, congratulations on 26 years as a reserve police officer for Redford Township, Michigan. Thank you for your service. Happy birthday to Graham Clark, November 27th. Love from Roz. Jennifer Erickson, her daughter, Caitlin Kinnear, had a birthday, happy birthday. Happy golden birthday, November 24th to granddaughter Gabriel, or Gabrielle Armstrong, turned four on the 18th of uh, March. Happy birthday, 
No, I guess I'm missing this here. I guess Caitlin had her golden birthday November 24th. Granddaughter Gabrielle turned four on November 18th. Rosie Olander turned 35 on November 6th. And I've been seeing your post, Lee Trainer, from Westport, Ontario, turned 46 on November 16th. Hope it was a great birthday. Zach Peterson and his mom are both back seaters. She's having cataract surgery soon. Best wishes from the Barkley Street back seaters. Happy birthday. Jeff Jenkins had birthday on the 18th from your wife, Sarah, and from us. Thanks, Jeff Peterson, watching from New Zealand. And I got a couple others here. And my goodness, next week, just about everybody's favorite, my dear friend and boss, and sometimes live on patrol partner under Sheriff Mike Martin and his beautiful wife, Ann, are having their 25th wedding anniversary. Happy, happy, happy anniversary, you guys. You guys are, uh, you guys are a beautiful, beautiful couple. It's an honor to call you my friends. Leanne Olson is having her birthday coming up. Uh, on November 30th. Happy birthday to you, Leanne. I think I covered everybody. Now, just so you know, uh, when we were moving in on that uh, that Audi, my intention was to hit the live button right before we turned into the lot. But right as the first squad car pulled in, the the Audi took off and got caught up in the moment and. Didn't do it until uh, we caught up to where they dumped it, I believe. Reverend Daryl Spence and his beautiful wife are having their 27th anniversary, November 30th. So happy anniversary, guys. 27 years. You've got a very patient wife. Rev. Just kidding. You're a wonderful man and thanks for being my friend. And thanks thanks for all you do. You're you're an amazing man. Seeing if I've got any more here. But yeah, Rev, you and uh, you and your wife Beverly are two amazing, amazing people. So yeah, I hope you guys are uh, enjoying this view of the Sally Port door. Daniel Hansen is a backseater and would like us to do a shout out for his mom, Leanne, Leanne Russell Hansen, for her 50 year wedding anniversary. You, you did put the lights on for interest, huh? The red lights. 
Oh, you didn't know they're on. No, I sure didn't. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be right back. I got to take right. it in. Okay. Boy, I'll tell you, there are a lot of phone cords in here. I'm trying to get it organized a little bit. You know, that's a good question. I'm not exactly sure why they call it a Sally Port. But I think the, the Sally okay, is in reference to Sally Forth, like gather together or move forward. I don't, not exactly sure. That's a darn good question, and you're going to make me look it up. <laughs> good thing we have these things we can hold in our hands that can let us look up just about everything. A sally port was originally a small exit point in a fortification for the passage of troops when making a sally. Why do jails call it a sally port? The purpose of a sally port is to de deter, defend, and delay against unwanted entry or exit. The name Sally Port comes from two words, port from the Latin word portus, meaning door, and Sally from the Latin satire, uh, or Latin, I'm not from, you know, I usually don't get stumped with vocabulary, from the Latin salire, S-A-L-I-R-E, in parentheses, to jump, or sortie. A military maneuver designed to delay and harass an opposing force. So as to keep people we don't want in, out, and uh, to keep people we don't want to get out, in. There you go. John Kruger retired after 26 years with the Centennial Lakes Police Department. Congratulations, John, and thank you for your service. Well, Christine Griffin, you have birthday coming up tomorrow. Hope you have a great one. Yeah, after that, uh, after that Audi was uh, spotted by a citizen up at the bowling alley, uh, we had to go mute quite a bit to formulate a plan to move in on it and have enough resources there to move in on it. But uh, like we said, we just our timing was off by just a couple of seconds, or we could have get it, gotten it boxed in well. And it, from when the, it got called in till when we got there was actually a, an unusually large amount of time for a stolen car to be sitting stationary. I 
would not be at all surprised if they were preparing to uh, carjack someone coming out of the bowling alley because that car had been as Bob said had been chased several times and was on every every cop's radar in the in the metro area so they were probably anxious to get in a new car Well, Sandra Perez, have a wonderful birthday Sunday. Yeah, that Audi had been stolen for two days. Stole it on the 22nd on uh, Wednesday. And they uh, pulled off a lot more crimes in that two day period. Those are the kind of people it's important to get off the street. So there is going to be just uh, one camera tonight, one live. It's just going to be Bob and I going live tonight. 319 is going to be a scratch tonight. Jeffy. So on Monday, I got to, uh, while other CAT team members were tied up on a, on a detail, I was able to assist uh, Minneapolis PD and St. Paul PD's Special Investigations Unit on uh, following and taking into custody a Minneapolis homicide suspect, which was uh, rather adrenaline pumping few moments. Sorry about that. Mission accomplished. Yep. Hang on just one second here. Okay. I'm like, don't drive or what? Yeah, don't drive for one second. Okay. Yeah, I saw that earlier today. Back in the field. Whatever happened with that? Why is that a call? Anything new up there with the shots fired? No. 
not that I heard. What was but going I was busy on, what, what was going on with South St. Paul? Were they in town? You know, when we were on the other deal, someone was saying, hey, is South St. Paul got something going? Do you have any idea where? It was on the east side somewhere. I think that's what those squads were. Remember those squads with lights and siren? Not siren, but lights. I don't know. Something was going on. Maybe they had an undercover jail going on. I can't multitask as well as you. Well, I, I, I was over <laughs> my limit there, too. We had, it's harder when you're trying to strike the balance with the back seaters is to make sure you keep them in the loop, but oh. yet not jeopardize the operation. Okay, I found, I found the call. Let me look at the details, see if there's something I can... Are back and I got all this I got two weeks worth plus some personal ones that came in shout outs all done you did good. and I don't I don't think you uh, um, I don't I don't think well you definitely didn't hear because you were inside but uh, under Sheriff Mike Martin is beautiful wife Ann are having their 25th anniversary next week. Well, that is amazing that she stayed with him that long. <laughs> Don't you think? <laughs> I think they are a beautiful pair. Perfect for each other. Uh, 25, huh? Uh, that's pretty amazing. Quite there. Well, the thing about it is, my married life has been. What do we got going here? Nothing. Oh, he's calling that officer's mother's names. Well, they know who we are, I'm sure. So maybe they can. We'll take. Maybe we can take a little of the attention away. Another happy customer. So, did you see on social media one of our back seaters was reporting that they almost ran over Susie? Really? She's running out in front of cars up on Jackson and Cayuga. Oh no. And there was a call there again for her tonight. She slid over from Rice in Pennsylvania over to Jackson and Cayuga. And she's been more aggressive than in the past. Hmm. It's a personal plate. X-ray, 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 X-ray. Eastbound 96, high rate of speed. It's the first They're trying to stop it. What's your intersection? Kenny Simonson's mother, Julie Oliver, has her birthday coming up this Tuesday. Happy birthday to you, Julie, from Kenny and from us. Lindsay Rachel's mom's birthday was this week. She turned 63. Her name is Beth. She is a nurse at Children's Hospital PICU, which I believe is Pediatric Intensive Care Unit. She's a hero to many people there. So happy birthday to you, Beth, and thank you for all you do. That's amazing.
There's a spot that can start for 2161. Close call. 2263, I'm in route. Thank you. 2233. Well, it's only 1033. Seems like we've been here a oh, long time, no, doesn't it? And I feel bad because it seems like we were muted for a long time, but it's early. No. It's early. I explained that to people that, you know, when that person called in on that car being up there, that we had to, you know, we had to coordinate some stuff, and there's no way we could do that being live. Everybody, I, I don't see anybody who was upset about it. They under, the backseaters understand. Probably want this one, Copy, code 4, 2233. No, just uh, another Friday Night Live. <laughs> Five more seconds. Five more seconds. 5183 status. Yep, exactly. Full second. Well, our friend Chris Pashuk. Juliet Tango 0122 door phone. Is laid up with COVID. Sorry, Chris. Hope you, hope you get better quick. I haven't gotten the latest COVID update, I'll just be honest. And I've been agonizing over whether to get the, the latest one. But they said on the news only 15% of people have got the current one. So I don't know whether that means we're settling into the normal system of minimal participation or... I don't know. Very quiet on the outside here of the Foundry Pizza Pub. Yes, it is. Very quiet, very quiet. You're at Fort Tango, will you take us off the board, please? Yeah, we so, just in general, the latest trend is our St. Paul auto thieves are going to southwest suburbs to steal cars. Yep. I mean, it's happened before, but now it's completely the case. Edina, Minnetonka, St. Louis Park, Hopkins, Lakeville, Eden Prairie. On a regular basis, our kids are over there stealing cars. For a couple reasons, number one is if they steal them here, we got a greater likelihood of catching them because we pursue them. But two, obviously, there are the western suburbs have some nicer cars. Very true. And unfortunately, as the weather gets colder, a lot of these high-end cars will be targets while they're running. So please lock your car, take your keys with you. If you leave your car running, as some people do in your driveway, at least lock it, take your fob with you. Make sure, you know, here, here's what you do. Start your car running, take your fob, put it in the house, go back out to your car and get in it and see if you are able to put it in drive and drive it away without the fob. If you are, you need a different system. <laughs> Odds are very good that your car will be stolen.
uh, good question. Um, to be, well, surra to be surrounded by my children and grandchildren. Okay, well, that's good. I don't. If you want to wait to tell Santa, that's okay. I don't you know, need another thing in the world except my friends and family. Me also. Fifty-one eighty-three squats clear, guys. Hey, girls. What's going on? How are you doing? Happy Thanksgiving. Yeah, Happy you too. Thanksgiving. Y'all had a good day. Yeah. You know. My daughter cooked it up. Oh, see, I wasn't in the mood. I can't take it. I'm too old for that. <laughs> well, you look young. Oh, I'm 40 something, so yeah. yeah. You look a lot younger than that. My kids can cook now, so if they don't want to cook, that's on them. That's because exactly all right, I man. I need me some, a little something, something. I don't need that much. Yeah, yeah I'm the same way, but I, but I like a little bit of everything. Everything, see, yeah. I ain't been in that move in a long time, so I don't be wanting everything. What is your favorite thing, though, for what your favorite food? Probably some dressing greens and probably a turkey or something. Yeah. Other than that, I had all of that. Dressing is my favorite. I like turkey with gravy, mashed potatoes, but something about dressing is, is the best. It's the best, right? It is. It is. It is. I like the dressing. But I gotta admit, I don't really like the cranberries with the real cranberries. Oh, see, I don't do none of the cranberry anything. I, I don't like want the, no cranberry the clear nothing. cranberries. The clear one, but I don't want like in the can. The, in the can? Yeah, the, je the jelly. Yeah. Oh, of course. <laughs> Look, he don't want the. I love that. So the we bike. really never even had the real cranberries. So I've, had them, had, I've had them. I've had. My daughter yeah, did I the did the fresh real ones, and see, it was amazing. You like yeah. that? I like both. Yeah, they I say like they're really good. I never had it. They say they're really good. Oh yeah. I don't know. I never had that one. Which way is that arrow moving in the back? To the left, yeah. See, I got this arrow on the back. It tells people they can go around me. They still confused. Yeah. Well, that's good. How are you doing for a while? That you and Sticks? First time I've ever really used good it. Good Sticks. Good Sticks. <laughs> oh, we got to chase. We got to run. All right, Thank go. You. See ya. Take care. Where's that at? I don't know. Good Sticks. It's a Thanksgiving Day chase. Northbound 65 from Viking. Northbound 65 from Viking. Viking. Northbound 65 from Viking. I'm not sure where Viking is, but I think it's up Northbound 65 from Viking. Second car. Second car. Two zero thirty one. Still northbound. Speeds ninety three. Approaching Klondike. Wow. Approaching northbound sixty five. Approaching Klondike. 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 Two zero forty three. Advice. Ham Lake. Ham Lake. Thanks, Timothy. Two zero forty three. Or East Bethel. Thanks, Ryan. All roads lead to Ramsey. <laughs> Ramsey's up that way too, but a different Ramsey. A different Ramsey, indeed. The city of Ramsey. Yes, sir. Thirty-one, still northbound, eighty-eight, approaching two hundred nine. No traffic. Thirty-one, still northbound, eighty-eight, approaching two hundred nine. Thirty-one, still northbound, eighty-eight, approaching two hundred nine. Twenty-two forty-two. Says they're heading towards Isanti. Uh, Front driver's side tire. Toward what? Isanti. Okay. Stopping northbound 65 from Sims. Light traffic. Lost front driver's side tire. 2243. 
Well, that shouldn't go much longer. No, but when he, we've had a lot of them that have gone a long way. There's what's the crossover road there? The, right, the Santee can go straight Usually over. Usually both front tires. <laughs> oh, not right both. Ramps. Well, that's not going to be. And long. it's always better when right, yeah, when right, you get the front. front tires. Right, front yeah. Right. Especially if it's front wheel drive. There's very little. Usually for 31. Speed 70. Approaching 221st. No traffic. Very calm. Mm -hmm. Approaching 221st, speed 70, no traffic, 2040. 4. 3 Vehicle 43, it's Steak, or Sandy, available, 6 37 for 4. 3 Vehicle 43, they've been advised. That's good you spotted those people running, Pat. Yeah, I kind of figured that's the direction they had to have gone. Triple five here, two and a half minutes out of 2244. Bravo, 443, EOT. Northbound approaching 229, speed to 90, no traffic. Bravo, 443, approaching 229, speed to 80, no traffic. We have our radios on as well, but we're letting you listen in to that chase up there near Amp Lake. They stuck two of the tires. Approaching 237, light traffic, speed 87. Still doing 87 miles wow. an hour on the rims. 237, light traffic, speed 87. Both of his front tires are gone, riding on the rims, and he's still going 85. Approaching 245th, speed 92, light traffic. Approaching 245th, speed 92, light traffic, 9246. Yeah, we have no idea what the, what started this pursuit, whether it's a stolen or... County 2007, are you monitoring the same police pipeline? Are they calling you on the main?
do create a DOC for us, a 40 seater in the skyway for a DOC. Captain. So apparently this uh, this vehicle they're pursuing. I Approaching down the road. No. Speed <laughs> it's a truck with a trailer with a bunch of stolen lawnmowers in it. Stolen truck, stolen trailer, stolen Speed lawnmowers 80. in the trailer. It's probably Demetrius. <laughs> Maybe he'll call us. Maybe he'll call us again. <laughs> hey, Bob, is that you behind me? <laughs> oh my goodness. Stolen lawnmowers. San County East 4407, number four in the pursuit. San Diego you're number four in the pursuit. Takes a little talent to drive on rims, too. The turning is a little problematic. Five, speed yep. 86, no traffic. Holy mackerel. Maybe he's got rear wheel drive. Five, speed 86, no traffic. Towards that AWI. Uh, the NWI, southbound 280 to westbound 94. Six up 65 in conjunction. Six roll the interrupt, Mr. Minister. Left lane. Now to the right. Slide down there. Apparently, there's an accident with injuries, Pat, down on uh, 280 and 94. Copy, there's going to be six up at 65 in conjunction. Six front. Tires are steel. Okay, Trooper 5 is overhead and tracking pursuit. Copy and 6 in. Front tires are steel. And the average is a little more about 55. Pass the average. Southbound 280 to uh, westbound 94. Yeah, I don't know if we're going to be able to get at it from this angle or not, but I think there's the St. Paul car coming down 280, so. Another car will come at it from this way. If it, if it made the turn to westbound, we'll be able to help out. Got an accident with injuries, and I don't know, it might be a rollover too, but fire is on the way. Apparently, some kind of automated message from a, an in car oh, system okay. saying someone was in an accident. When the occupants started to talk, the line disconnected. So, why that happened, don't know. Passing Davenport Street, still going on. Good to know. Passing Davenport, still going on. A lot of traffic out here today. Yeah. I think I'll just shut these reds Not off. Not a bad and idea. Maneuver around them. About 1602, checking your status. Well, but the trooper overhead, they're not getting away. Yeah, folks, this reminds me of the old days where I was following Pat Scott. I was a sergeant. Oh, Pat was a deputy. I was following Pat Scott. We were chasing a guy westbound on 94. Pat and his partner were driving. Pat was leaning out the window with his shotgun. Remember that day? I hit the tailgate. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we had a bad dude, a stick-up guy. Hey, an AR-15 back in those days he had, which right. was very rare. Right, right, a bad dude. And they were so afraid of Pat that he drove right off the edge of the freeway. <laughs> Well, he was actually shooting at us yeah. when he was going up Jackson yeah, with a handgun. Early, that was earlier, yeah. And then, uh, remember Dan Johnson who went to LAPD? Yep, yep. He and Earth Timmy Hayes got behind it and tapped the rear end of him. Still now, North Lawn, and he went through this here. Right here. And the, the barricade, the cement barricade, came up in the air yep. and took the emergency lights Looked clean off the top CBC of the car. Record. For the car that registered the accident. At this point, it would probably be on the other side, right? 
number 31, he's exiting 195, I'll have to pill. Copy, on the AOA Alright, I think two first down, 65. Well, I don't see the car. Copy, I see the first down. Like, oh, He's on first out. Well, you know he's going to take 95 east and then come yeah, back south. Yeah, he's going to fire at 2254. Good, good. 2-King 25, we'll do an off attack one. Alright, north off at Kingley first. Alright, so we're going to have an off attack one. 307. This guy doesn't want to give up, does he? Call open for two minutes. Dead end. Did you say crash through a garage? No. The radio. The squad. Oops. Oh, ramming squads. Oh, so they can hear. Oh, they can hear. I had a good excitement there. Vehicle stop. Vehicle stop. 3D reporting felony stop. 3D reporting felony stop. 2255. And the uh, best address I got is near 225 McKinley Street. Uh, looks like we got plenty of help on scene at this point. Go ahead. Copy 225 McKinley. 2255. We checked southbound 280. And then. Took the 94 eastbound exit off 280, which runs under all the ramps. You know, we didn't see anything, so I don't know if State Patrol is going to check west of St. Paul, but in St. Paul it's clear. Copy, well, them know south on 280 and eastbound 94 exit under the ramps. Not seeing anything. One little section we could have not seen there. Otherwise, I'd get on there and clear it, but there's a little section right underneath there that goes westbound. 373, I'll take a St. Paul said they checked eastbound. Right. Copy 373 and a squad to assist the welfare check at 310 Lawson, Urban 4. Secondhand info caller is property management request. Oh, yeah, we got one climbing out of the vehicle. One climbing out of the vehicle. With no response to the door. Well, it's good that other departments are still chasing, right, Pat? Oh, so yeah. mostly it's the outstate ones. Three, six, one, eight, eight. Copy, 2256. Bravo, 0, 7, 0, 0, 0, Appears subject in custody. Appears subject in custody. Five two fifty seven. Okay, they got him in custody. Good job. Morning, Marshal. That was a nice Morning, little chase. We're clear advised. Put us on a DOC at Holiday Hamlin Marshal. Gentlemen refusing to leave the bathroom. One thing's for sure: you don't want to turn on a dead end street, right? Yep. I was just looking to see if I could see. Uh, you don't want to turn on a dead end street. Are you reading the stuff that the social media stuff that you get to? I do. I have been looking at it tonight. Well, that's her. If you don't mind, just see if there's anything that I asked her to come up with anything that might be going on tonight. Okay.
I'm going to mute real quick. Back seaters, you know when uh, new viewers come jump on. Just want to uh, ensure the seat is cold for. Please let us know. Let them know who we are, because sometimes they say, "Who is this? Where is this? What's going on?" Take a minute to let them know, because people jump on all the time. They're on for like two zero thirty one. Do you advise status? Sometimes they don't know who who we are, but our back seaters do. And they will fill you in. You see the Keg and Case place went bankrupt? Yep. 30 sure Zebra 19, can you advise status? I was thinking we should, we should get a back cedar bar in there. Maybe that's our future. Copy, do you still need to pass with Alltech 1? Back cedar bar. Negative. Negative. What what it it's like their little hole in the wall bar. I know, the, I know exactly feet, the place you're talking wide. about. You know, all the old timers would go in there, you know? Yeah. Uh, and of course, there was, you know, her up on University Avenue then, Herges. Mitch's. Mitch's. Down on 7th Street. Street. Yeah. Uh, well, Mancini's always. Yeah. The little, little niches were the. And, and people used to hang out in bars a lot more than they do now, right? I mean, it's a little different now. Yeah. People don't have the time, but also, obviously, well, it's just, it's just a different time. Yeah, Joan Stands, that was always a big Steve Husbeck place. Oh yeah, that's right. Scarta's. He's trying to catch his dog. Did he catch it? Couldn't tell. I'm gonna go back and ask him. <laughs> no, seriously, he ran across the street to catch his dog, and the dog ran toward him and then ran away. It's, you know, I don't know if it's his dog, but we we should go back and check. I it. would guess it's probably his dog. You think so? Yeah. He had a car parked to the right. He had obviously run over to the west side of Stallingham. He was out looking for his dog. The, 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 but the dog doesn't like him, apparently. <laughs> no, he just wants to be naughty. Oh, I wouldn't be naughty in Stellingham. If you're gonna, that's the busiest street in Minnesota. Which, by the way... I'm going to start... Someone sent me this book. Is it right behind me? Is it fair to see? Is there a book there? I think so. It's, way, it's against the door. Well, it's called It Happened in Minnesota. And thank you to whoever it was, the backseater that sent to there. And I started reading it today. I decided to turn the TV off. There's too many, Wait, one second, too many damn commercials. It's the same news every hour, anyhow. I just started reading this book. It was fascinating. Copy on channel two. It happened in, happened in Minnesota. All the things that happened in Minnesota. And you know I'm a history buff, anyhow. Right. Um, we're gonna see if this guy got his little dog. Is that his car? Where? Up on his the right car there? Was, well, originally it was over here, parked right there. And he ran over this way, and then a dog ran over this way. 
I bet he's down the street. He's either down the street. The dog ran away from him, right? The dog was running right here. Yeah. So the dog either got away from him or he's got the dog in the car. That with could him. be his car there. Small black dog. He had some white letters on the back that said, Help me. <laughs> Hamlin okay. University. Spent many years here. Had a great experience here at Hamlin. I'm very lucky. Great instructors, great friends, great football experience. You know, that's a good question. What was that dog's name again that I made instant friends with and Chris Thayer did that? No, I don't remember. Thing. Oh, why can't I remember? It wasn't Stanley. That though. was the last dog we found, wasn't it? Yeah. Yep. 3116. You know, it's possible that what this wasn't this guy's you dog. And he was A, trying Thanks to be a uniform. good Samaritan. All right. We're going to go down yep. with our lights. Always possible. Or B, he was trying to steal it. <laughs> and through a 16 of Neil said Nebraska plate to Juliet, or Yankee Juliet Kilo 040. That's funny. Yeah, Thank you, Layla. Edgar. That was the dog's name. You always gotta have like a flavored bone or some treats when you go out to find your dog. Or a ball with a long string on it. <laughs> or his favorite toy. Or a big net. <laughs> When they're younger, Rocco. When Rocco was younger, he used to run, and then he would play like "Come and catch me, come and catch me, if, catch me if you can." He's a little older now, so he doesn't do that. He doesn't want to take a chance to miss out on something good at home. Well, our friend Mark Cermak yeah. said that in it happened in Minnesota. Yeah. His father was seriously hurt in the 3M explosion in '51 had several skull fractures, was out of work for two years, but made a full recovery. Jesus. Unreal. Yeah, that contemporary news I liked, um, but the, what fascinated me was the old history. Well, it starts with Father Hennepin being here in the late 1600s. Okay. There's a, there's a story in there about About Pike, is everyone on Pike? Fascinating story about trying to find the uh, the headwaters of the Mississippi River mm -hmm. and how what adversity he went through. I mean, those guys. We're talking 1802. You know, you're up against the elements, animals. Native Americans, there was just a wide variety of, of issues. But the old Cole Younger years, the Northfield Mankato bank robberies. Mm -hmm. I did not know. Jesse and Frank I James. I did not know this, but the Cole Younger group apparently became constructive citizens while in prison. Jim really? Spots, uh, yeah. Driving complaint, white bear and IVs house down on a vehicle swerving. Maybe a silver Acura. It's pretty Arnie interesting. And actually, people were protesting and they wanted them released. <laughs> so there's just a lot of interesting history. 
fact, inspired me. I'm going to go to Barnes & Noble tomorrow and get a couple books on Minnesota history. And we'll have some, we'll have some little... I don't know where it is. It, it's against the passenger door. Okay. Here. Put oh. that light back on. I can reach it. Passenger door? Like behind me, you mean? Or? Yes. Well, I can even reach it right through here. Yeah, I forget who sent me that book. But uh, it's uh, it's easy reading, it was great reading. It was just January. enough to inspire me to want to read more about Pipestone. Oh, the city of Pipestone and the uh, the rock that's there that they the Native Americans used to carve pipes out of. I don't know if you knew that. Nope. I didn't know it either. But it's amazing some type of stone that they would carve pipes out of. Hence the name Pipestone. There you have it. And the guy that the guy that claimed to have Found it. Avenue on a first thing crisis. Well, if I say found it, it claimed to be the first white there, person there was the guy named Calvin. There. Well, so the rock is called Calvinite. Mm. But apparently there's two other people that actually found found it before him. Kind of interesting. You know, so... I don't know. There's a lot of little stories. I like to travel a little bit and just visit visit some of these small towns. His name is Keon McDowell. We've got a pretty cool state. Yeah, we actually do. Oh, how about uh, you know this? The uh, this is, there's a fascinating story in there about the legislature almost moved the state capital to St. Peter. I remember hearing that at some point. And one of the legislators that was in charge of a committee stole the bill and hid it. Until the legislature adjourned by the mandatory two month adjournment. And they tried to, uh, well, basically, they tried to call it out of committee. They couldn't get enough votes to call it out of committee officially because they had rules they had to. But the bottom line is, Roulette, Rollet was the guy's name. He stopped the Capitol from being moved from, from uh, St. Paul to St. Peter. Well, um, I'd like to say thank you to him. Interesting, though, the, there were some businesses in St. Peter that were behind this move. And uh, they bought land, etc. Apparently the land they bought to put the, the capital on is now the Nicollet County Courthouse. Really? Yeah, if you're from St. Peter down there by Gustavus, you're familiar with the Nicollet County Courthouse. Beautiful building. And... Um, Actually, there was a lawsuit. Then they, they passed a law after that. They went to the governor. There was a lawsuit. And one of the uh, judge, Supreme Court judge here, threw it out. Said they they hadn't had the official bill to vote on. Hmm. So they didn't move it. And, uh, they, had a, they had a parade. There's something funny about that guy that just turned right. Okay. They had a parade in honor of the legislature. Here. Yeah. They had a parade in honor of the legislator that hid the bill. He was in a hurry to get around that car. Is he that one over there or no? No. Nope. The other nope. A lot of interesting history. Yeah. Otherwise, we'd be working in a... We wouldn't be able to pull up in front of our state capitol. But we still could have been SPPD. There you go. You're right. <laughs> you know, the capitol burned down once. No, I didn't know that. Yeah, the Minnesota capitol burned down. Like, completely? You know, I don't, I, I don't have that much information, but it did burn down pretty much 
someone's going to tell you right now because there's a lot of people that know these stories better than me. Well, we got, uh, already got our answer. Okay. Says it burned in. Oh, yeah, one leaving, uh, 1651 with Clarence with, uh, two different plates on it. Going eastbound on third. Eastbound on third. Going eastbound on third. Uh, I think it might come back stolen the first one I ran. Now, south down on Etna. Heading towards south. Copy, thank you. 1482 North United States. Here's a spot sticking in this. Stafford Quarter, Jackson, Little. I think we're safe at the warming shelter. Ashley, light them up. Yeah, I'm just going to go up here now.
Um, I think they're going to be trying to correct themselves here. Uh, looks like male driver had glasses to female passenger. They've corrected themselves. They're northbound 61 in the correct lanes of traffic. I can't get over because of the barrier here. Northbound. I'll be back to northbound 61. We got, we're, on, we're gonna be on two different channels. Just make sure you warn them. This is gonna come right at us. Yeah, everybody's on L10 one. Yeah, but I mean, just saying that when you tell them you got sticks, they might hear it on both. Should be here any second. We're coming south from Burns and we haven't seen him yet. Must have turned on Lower Afton. The only other option before that, correct, or am I missing those trees? Was he south of. Was he south of Lower He was south of Lower Afton, correct? Hey, from next one was Bailey and he turned just probably halfway in between uh, Bailey and Lower Afton then. Nope, nope. Or the Carver still. I gotta find a place we can get over where we're screwed to. Nope, nope. Okay. Uh, not sure about that one. I don't I can't imagine it going that slow. Spot two two three, you can clear that survive to twenty. Twenty three six four traffic. Yeah, find me a cutoff, do you? Lexington and Red Fox. What that one? No, nope. thank you, Bravo, 711. Unless they're going up lower after. Yep. 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 Yeah, he was asking, was it definitely north of Carver when it turned around? 2172, arriving with David Boy Edward 477. Eight from Good news, they're making snow out here in Battle Creek. Mm. And Battle Creek is clear. The snow machines are working. So, it's tough to cross over. That was Nicole's obstacle there. You're on the opposite yeah. side of the highway. You, Oh, you, you don't want to be accused of forcing him, so you go on the opposite side in the correct lanes, so you don't kill somebody. And, but they they use that barrier against you. 
Good lesson. 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 Okay, can you check with them and see if we can at least clear the air while they're still looking? And for the five for uh, post monitoring, I got one that uh, got hot wheels on it, uh, hotter than normal. It's at 2191 Glenridge Ave. Bingo. That's going to be it. That's right where we were. Back yep. there, he, he came off that road, goes by the apartments. Everybody copy that? 2191 Glenridge, Hot Wheels. It's just hotter than the surrounding vehicles. That's like, right. the signifying that it would have been running a little hotter than most. Possible at 2191. Yeah, I'm going to follow it up there. What was that, North South Street? Before uh, midnight? Winthrop there? Yeah. That's, that's where we, yeah, we drove right by Glenridge. Yep. Take us right. So we switch to LTAC 1. Just go to LTAC 1. 2 on the there. Clear. If this is an air, we're going to take a little drive over to uh, my buddy's house. You know, let me know who's in that car. Is it in front or in back? That's that same car. Should be in front. I believe it has lights on. Yep, there's lights on. I see it right there. Ask Darren if he's coming from the other way. Darren, are you coming from McKnight? Get a parade going. <laughs>
Ben's over helping out. Just assuming that wasn't the right car, so we'll just keep driving. Yep. It smells like it was, has hot wheels. <laughs> the fact that they can identify cars that have been hotter than average. That's a nice tool. Good to a tangle chasing over there. Good to wait. Tangle case number is 216-031. We're bringing the female back to 1030 to Fremont Avenue. Have you ever been to Florida? I have. Do you, you want to? Do you want to go back? Maybe. I've got a I've got a brother who lives in Tallahassee that well, I haven't I'm seen talking in years. about I the West Coast. Go. Well, Tallahassee is technically on the West Coast, but northern. Maryland, Sylvan, Minnesota, Delta, Foxtrot. You know I go there Nine, once eight, in a while, right? Eight. Yep. Should come with. Maryland and Sylvan at well, I think I should too. It's, it's a very, very it's a way to, good way to clear your mind. I never stay very long, you know. Right. I look for really cheap tickets. But did you notice my tan? Did you notice my tan at all? Or no, no, I didn't really. Well, it's been dark since we got together. <laughs> But with you turning the light on, yeah, yes, yeah. I can see it. You got some healthy looking sun. Yeah. No, when I was a kid, we went down there every uh, every time that the twins were in spring training. Yeah, that's right. I know. I never traveled out of the state. You guys hear about uh, homicide suspect, telephone white bear. Hold up. Uh,
running in. We're just headed over to run in. Uh, two four five, uh, we're overhead. Have eyes on the uh, traffic stop. We're two just running to back up a traffic stop. High risk traffic stop. But others will probably get there before we do. That's Clear like, right. Yes. Two two three. Can tell me that noise you play. Right Street, just Cardigan Ridge, unit 332, medics with a 72-year-old female, conscious breathing. Clear. What did you say? There's a St. Paul squad there. Okay. 2335. Well, we're just going to let that one go then, as long as there's other cars there to back up that stop. gonna say I never left the state of Minnesota. 2771 this is not the suspect anyone else is not here can clear um Ramsey County is advising not the suspect other yeah, cars are coming to I might have told you we only went one week a year we went up to a farm island lake just north of Aiken your and family right, your yeah, mom yeah, and dad my mom and dad it was one week a year that's all we did and um small cabin probably I'm heard of 2771 12 or by 12 feet, no. My dad a five, five horse Johnson Motor. Vehicle four on the stop if you're coming clear, I'll take two. Johnson Motor that he would take up and then rent a fishing boat. Go fishing. But, uh, I don't know, back then parents didn't have a lot of money to go on lengthy vacations. Right. We drove up there and my father's... 10 year old cars. And usually, yeah, we, we made it. most years we made it. A couple years we didn't. <laughs> cars would break down on the way. One year the tire flew off, literally flew off the front car. Wow. Yeah, and you want to when, a tire, when, when your car flies off and, it, and the one tire goes on the rim or the hub, it slows your car. It uh, was girlfriend of potential. It, uh, yeah. The tire keeps rolling at the same speed while the car is slowing down, and you can watch the tire roll ahead of you. Mm. I have that fun. But back then, people were so kind that everybody wanted to help you. It didn't matter who it was. Right. Neighbors, you know, help repair your car. They let you stay with them. We stayed, some times we stayed, twice we stayed with people while the cars were getting repaired. All I only mention that is it was yeah, a different time back yeah. then. You know, your dad traveled because of his job. Mm -hmm. You know, my dad was, you know, didn't have the finances to travel. So, so I appreciate. Basically, I really I appreciate the ability to to do a little bit of travel. Absolutely. Now at my older age, it refreshes you mentally. You know, Here's a traffic stop that they were calling for some assistance on, right here to our left here. Up on uh, White Bear and Hyacinth. Hey, how late are the stores open now, tonight? Like midnight? All night? You know, I'm not even sure. I haven't heard any major theft issues this year, like... 37, 32, 300. That's a good thing. About two twenty. Sherwood's got their decorations up, huh? Yeah. He's here to Kellogg and Wakuda. For a DOC colors of lift driver, female or female jack with the vehicles that left Dodge Durango. Shots fired here last night on Orange, huh? Shot up a house. 
Yep, again. Oh, it's it's like the third or fourth time that house has been shot. Do we, know, same house. Do we know why? Uh, I haven't gotten into the details of it yet. Big crowd at the White Dragon and the... Should we check it out? Sure. Well, it's the Hmong New Year, and there's a huge festival at the uh, Excel Center, called the, we used to call it the Civic Center. It's the Hmong New Year, and thousands of people are in town from Wisconsin and all over the country to celebrate the Hmong New Year. I've been there most years. I haven't been there yet. I don't know if I'll get there tomorrow, but... Uh, You know, in the old days, we had gang members coming in, you know, remember? Oh, yeah. And uh, you had the Hmong soccer tournament, which was an issue there. But lately, it hasn't been that bad. Of course, during the COVID years, everything got restricted. How's it going? Valley. Happy, happy, happy. Hello, the roads for me. Twenty three forty. Unisom has a big gathering tonight too. Cup and cheers. Three seven. Happy mm -hmm. the SOS medics holiday at seventeen seventy Old Hudson Road. Medics are on scene with a patient and they're requesting oh. police. To Chris, Chris, there already sent us video of the oh. Nissan going the wrong way down sixty one. Oh. Don't see any drunk participants out here at all. Yeah. Good sign. Although it's still early. Yeah, true that. Five one six checking Another person got killed yesterday, huh, in Minneapolis? Yes. Okay. Or actually, today. It was today? Yep, this I morning? saw uh, sometime this afternoon, I believe. Uh, I saw Lisa Clemens posting about it. Oh. I didn't see that one. Like every two days now. Yeah, it's been bad. One of our deputies is working off duty here. I saw on the board today. Security guard there. Happy New Year, Najong. No how's how's everybody? Happy New Year. How's the party? You going home? You waiting for an Uber? Is it? Silver cab. Is there a police? Is there a deputy working in there? Couple of them. All right. Have a good night. Have a good. Have fun, ladies. Bye bye. Hey, check this out. Galumbi hulicha. Uh huh. Uh huh. Yeah, I've been practicing for thirty years. Did you do? Did you do? See, during the day, there's traditional attire at the Hmong New Year at the X, and then at nighttime, there's American attire. 
nightclub attire. Well, yeah, I guess you could say that. Looks like they're closing up early. What's wrong? A lot of relatives get together and uh, from all over the United States. Minnesota, St. Paul really is the number one. The number one location for Hmong families now. And by the way, very law abiding, productive. These are very well behaved and educated. Behaved events, very much so. You usually expect problems when you have crowds this big, there's very seldom a problem. I was watching a special on the Vietnam War the other day. You know, a little different angle. You know, I, I like history. In fact, today, I was, yesterday, I was watching a uh, story about. Kennedy's assassination where they believe that the CIA, that Kennedy had a plan after the election in 64. Have a good night, everybody. Good night. Good night. That, that supposedly Kennedy had a plan to get out of Vietnam and some of the powers to be weren't too happy about that. So it's all, I mean, obviously, a lot of different theories. Difficult to nail down, but... But as you know, the, the Hmong people are from the country of Laos, which is next door to Vietnam. And as I've mentioned before here, the Laotian people helped us fight the North Vietnamese and the communist Pan Thai Lao government in northern Laos. And General Vang Pao was our primary contact. And uh, he and the Hmong people saved many, many American pilots that crashed in Laos. Yes, indeed, they did. Affirmative. Thank you, 2347. 1990, I started working with uh, General Vang Pao. Worked with him for 20 right. years. And Took a few Hmong language lessons along the way. But it all looks like fun, right? Yeah, it does. It's like a good time. Maybe we ought to go off live and come back. <laughs> no, just kidding, folks. But it does look like a lot of fun in here tonight. I want to go. I want to see how late Best Buy is open tonight. Well, let's go find out. I gotta wonder if they're if they're open till midnight or what their plan is. Oh, that guy's parking on the front lawn. <laughs> Must been, that must be a handicap spot. What do you think? <laughs> I guess. There was a shortage of them. The 
Hmong New Year celebration. I gotta find the exact year, but I wanna say like 1980. Oh, it was in the 80s. It started. I believe it was uh, while McCutcheon was chief. Yeah. Our friend Nancy says Best Buy closed at... Biggest shopping day of the year, traditionally. Yeah. Three two seven. Three two seven. And out to Dorothy Day. Want to go for now? Charlie twenty three fifty one. Well, our backseater Charlie Zeilinger, his grandpa Ken Zeilinger, lives on the end, right next to the boat landing on Farm Island Lake. Really? Yeah. Yeah, those are good times. Small world. Well, greetings. I think the actual resort that I was at is no longer there. I've been up there looking for it. But, you know, for those of you from that area. 3938, can you just There used to be um, shops in Garrison. Garrison, a little town on the western side of Mille Lacs there. Mm -hmm. Back then they called them trading posts. And I don't know if they were on the portion that's part of the tribe reservation or not, tribal lands. But there would be a lot of cool stuff at those little trading posts, especially when you're a young kid. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. You know, belt buckles, necklaces, turquoise. You could just stare at the selection for hours. That was a lot of fun things to look at. Garrison, Minnesota. By Maplewood Mall here, looking for stores still open to sell their wares. Panera Bread's getting some delivery. Probably soup. Three two seven. Three two seven. And route to Regis. Oh, looks like the Doghouse Bar the has a no. decent crowd. Yeah, they're Good spot. Titan's Bar uh, had a big makeover and is now more restaurant themed, it seems. Titan's, where is, is that it's not the old so T-Birds, is it? No. Uh, it's over by Duke's. Okay. Over yeah. on uh, Geneva or Century. Century. Stores open like at five o'clock this morning, right? Oh yeah. Crazy as that was. I uh, 
I got talked into one time oh, three, two, going to Black Friday sales. Me too. Three, two, one Never, time. ever, yeah, ever that again. Was that sale was right here. It was right here at the best oh, place. Yeah, this time it looks like she's in route to so you. Yeah, for, for a big TV. Yeah. yeah. Is there yeah. a yeah. penalty yeah. for yeah. again? Did he send her a video of him cutting himself? Mine was at a Walmart. It's chaos. What's that? Chaos. Total. Total chaos. I mean, you could do it once just for the experience, right? Yeah. To see how chaos. horribly some people can behave when they want to. Yeah. 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 And little do they, most of them know, they're, they only put so many on the floor. <coughs> There's usually more in the back room. So people are fighting over the last one on the floor. You go to the manager, do you get any more of those? Oh yeah, we got a few more. <laughs> we got a few more. Silly shoppers. Well, for the most part, I'd say the Twin Cities survived Black Friday pretty well. Certainly looks like it. Really, I'm proud of you, citizens. That's great. <laughs> <laughs> Minimal fights. Well, I do think people are ordering online more. It's, I mean, well, obviously they are. But now it's to the point that you might as well just do it online, right? Yep. I confess that I do most of my shopping online. SIP. We don't usually take it as potential suicides or person in crisis, so you might hear some stuff in the background, but Possibility everybody's worn out, right? That's true. Happy 2015. Worn out, still full from eating. <laughs> so this week's this week the Chiefs lost. Okay. Okay. All right. And I'm not saying it's. I'm not saying it's anybody's fault. Okay. You know, her boyfriend did drop two passes. <laughs> we won't say whose boyfriend. And he caught a couple, but granted. But sometimes crazy love doesn't go with football. I'm not saying I talked to Andy Reid and Andy Reid told me to t say this. I'm just saying that if I did talk to Andy Reid, this is probably what he'd say. Just got to have your head in the game. And I'm, I know, and I know Jason Kelsey is probably telling him the same thing. His brother, Travis. got a month left for the playoffs. 
just got to focus. It's okay if you don't focus because we want to beat you in the Super Bowl anyhow. You know. <laughs> I think the, I think Philadelphia does have a good chance of making it to the Super Bowl. Maybe more so than the Chiefs. You know, there is. Uh, yeah, you want to route to the address? I don't know all the details on it, but going back to our last game, the Vikings' last game, yes. there was a disputed, a, a controversial call that kept us from getting three points that wasn't called during the game, but a player on the opposing team was sanctioned later in the week for, like, a bad hit, I want to say. Oh, okay, interesting. He was and, and, but it was too late to reverse it. Oh, he was sanctioned. We would have won by two had that call been made. You're probably right, but we should have gone... We should have we should have gone for the touchdown instead of the field goal anyhow. But that's a whole other. That's yeah. Well, the Vikings like to keep things close. <laughs> yeah, clearly. <laughs> yeah, two years straight. I know I'm gonna get some mail from from Travis. I know he's gonna he's gonna probably call me on his podcast. the benefit of an extra few extra years of life, you know. Maybe if you won the Super Bowl a couple times, you don't need to win it again. Maybe that's it. I mean, there's comes a time where, you know, his brother's got a couple little children. Who's that? Uh, under sheriff. Brother's got a couple kids. Oh boy, and, and there's that one. Maybe, maybe it's two. With uh, one little daughter of his is two. Maybe Travis is thinking about having children. Maybe that's what's on his mind. Coming to this, it's going to be the house directly to the east of the one with the multicolored light. In the front. I mean, can you imagine though, if they have a boy, the arguments they're going to have about whether he's going to play football or be a country western in the singer? You got to think ahead. <laughs> well, we could start a rumor. Yeah. Well, he, maybe, maybe his mind was somewhere else, but he because he found out he's gonna be a dad. Could be. Mm. He did say that when he was down in Argentina. She, you know, the, one of the fans died at one of her concerts. I don't know if you heard that. No, I didn't. It was 114 degrees. The heat index was 138 degrees. Jesus. And people couldn't, there was, they, were, they didn't have enough water for everybody. So her security guards were handing out the water at the concert. And she would she'd see people that are fall passing out. She would say, get the water over there. She gave her own water away. But there wasn't enough water. So then, And so somebody actually did die of heat stroke. Oh boy! So the next day she canceled her concert. Well, I don't know why I know all this stuff. It's probably because of my wife. But Travis did say that they decided to rather than go out in the town and celebrate, it'd be a little inappropriate. Yeah. Well, that they just had a quiet time in the hotel. So maybe you're right, Pat. Never maybe know. Maybe you're right. Quiet time. Never heard it. It's called quiet time, but we have a quiet time. Speaking of Andy Reid, he was not happy in that game. He was yelling at everybody. <laughs> and he doesn't normally get that emotional. It's a fun game to watch, though. And, you know, you got to root for Brother Jason once in a while. By the way, is a hell of an athlete. So fiance says the uh, patient agreed to go to the hospital. 
Um, and one of the, talking with him on the phone now, and we're just to be a center and be a pulling center is an amazing talent to be able to pull and lead, lead uh, sweeps or screens. Just a very, very talented, talented athlete. You watch that TMZ? No, man. Yeah. Bravo 788 DOT. Um, that Harvey's fine. We, we've talked about that before. Mm -hmm. 7126, the plate's going to be Lincoln King Adam 's ever paid attention to Travis Kelsey before this of course oh well, I sure are now yeah I'm well, glad to see you're watching Nick Mueller hope you're keeping uh, keeping now. things calm and peaceful up there. Yeah, you sent me a, uh, you posted another guy, Fridays with Frank. There's a new officer that has a video. Oh, he's been, he's been doing that for a while. He's a... Uh, Fridays with Frank? I, I don't know if I've heard that term before. He's with the Pinal County Sheriff's Office in Arizona, okay. and he works as a traffic unit. And is it pre-recorded? Or, uh, or is it live? It's pre-recorded. Okay. But it's every Friday. Yeah. And the sheriff actually goes out sometimes and has his recordings done of his being on patrol. Yeah, what's his call? I've seen his before. His last name is Lamb, Sheriff Lamb. Oh, that's Sheriff Lamb, okay. Well, good for Sheriff Lamb. But, uh, yeah, Frank Slope is the deputy's name, and he's, he's a no-nonsense but very professional Takes no grief, deputy. <laughs> it's very entertaining. Basically, you're saying he wouldn't survive in Minnesota. <laughs> <laughs> maybe, well, we, we're maybe northern Minnesota. We're trained to take grief, right? I mean, we're trained to take grief. Whether we should or not, it's a different issue, but the expectation in the metro area is that you're able to take a little bit, right? Yeah. Oh, and he does. Yeah. But he he very, very humorously and sometimes sarcastically returns the favor. Oh, there you go. <laughs> he, knows how, he knows how to use words. Carry a handgun. Subject. coming into downtown St. Paul. You saw the skyline ahead of us there. And we haven't been in here tonight, so let's see what's taking place in the saintly city.
see, I think there might, is there, was there a wild game tonight or tomorrow night, or? Check that out. So I think there are some wild games here. I'm trying to figure out how they pulled that off. So, if that's the case, the Mung New Year must be in the other portion. The river center portion of the building. Quiet down here. Yeah, it is. Oh. Artificial intelligence created a bar. <laughs> right there ahead of us. AI See, bar. They're, they're taking AI. The AI bar. See? They're taking over everything. Right there, the AI bar. <laughs> Five one zero. Park in Maryland Avenue. Left. Eleven minutes. Information available. Yeah, go ahead. If you're calling, you can 22, you have plenty of help, thanks, Bill. Silver Lane, Silver Lane. Thanks, Abby. Thanks. Thank you. Majority call, Mary, 141. Bill, party locked away from us, so back to the house. Said he's going to make it difficult for us. They keep working with that. Can't tell you if you can come back out. Have that mail party walks back into the house. So it's going to make it difficult. 300 eight copy all this as well. 300 eight copy. 12 minutes. 4455 Tango traffic. 2854. 4455 Tango. White Bear and Lydia. 06 Tango. 06 Tango. Mail came back out. Copy mail is backed out. Quieter than we thought, right, Pat? Definitely. Page at all, see if anything's going on over there. And, uh, our 215 and 216. I'll do that right now. sister city. 216. With our central sergeant to copy the list on a call on East 708 Carbell Street. Well, they've already two. got that pursuit. Adam's call reporting a domestic. Can you hear a male and female physically fighting? The female's trying to get off of me. Female is going to be Michelle, Native American female. Henry, Hispanic male. That Might as well run over there. Seven hour block of travel. There's a domestic, but they're sending, they're sending central cars because the east cars are all tied up. Two and six copies. And um, so we're not that far from the seven hundred block of travel. No. And somebody's screaming. Clear. So we might as well just slide over there. As you don't get hit by a train. Clear. That's one thing I have planned for next year. We are going to, next year, we are going to have a third car ride with us. 228 Tango. That can bring the camera. Be careful, 216, I'll go. 216, you're clear. 216, no VWC. Thanks, guys. taking the camera out of the car to expand the educational aspect of what we're doing. It's no fun to sit in the car for the whole time we're in on the call. Clear. 
somewhere. Now let's make sure my nose doesn't get broken this time. Do my very you, best. You get to go first. <laughs> It's not like my, it's not like my nose needs it. Uh, I'm getting a little bit confused here, but it's I think it's just the left here a little bit, right? I think so. You might want to help me out with that. 708, which means it's close. It's gonna to be south of here. Think. Trouble is, but 708. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Would be closer to Minnehaha. So, question is, is it the northern problem or this? Two one six and two two three. You go ahead, buddy. Two one six. Four six four West Maryland on a domestic male is assaulting a female. We're trying to get more. Copy. Two, two, three, copy. You got it. Oh, I'm having a hard time with this. Sorry. Can't know everything. I think it's right to the right here a little bit. I got it here. Directions. Yeah, to the right. Well, two blocks. It's actually. Stand by for impact. Two and six male is assaulting a female with a male and they're going to be out in the street. Hispanic male, 20 to 30 years old, male, 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 Seven minutes. Twenty-seven fifty-five. Sorry, wrong channel. It's right back there. Well, we just, we just back there, but but did you see him? Because seven oh is north uh, north here. It's north of. I think. I can smell. It says it's right here. Twenty-seven. 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 Twenty-four hundred. 712. Let's just stop here. I'm going to turn around. 2755, I'm sorry. Then copy. Can you go again? Twenty four hundred and I are out on Preble. Copy that. How many radios we need? <laughs> well, we needed to be on there with the pack set. <laughs> this is 712. That one or that one? Watch your eyes. I think this 708, is that's yeah. it. I don't see them outside. Oh, backseaters, you stay, hang in there with us. Copy. Come on, back. 2982 Whitebird Avenue to assist fire for a male that set a fire outside of the dumpster that's in the back. It'll be an unknown male wearing a dark. Coat, hoodie, and tan pants. 4493 to the back. 2 1. EPV is Barton Road. Copy. Copy. 9175. 9175. Can I get a squad to back on a GM warrant out of Ramsey County for my driver? Copy. Need a squad to back. Metro 3565. Showing Beller Avenue in Blunt. Place for Happy Stop. Warrant out of Ramsey County. Anyone 70 to 75. Copy. 91 70 to 75. You want us to call to reach you? 218. For an accident with injuries, Front and Dale Street, 
On a language barrier, two vehicles involved, parties are fighting. Okay. Okay. 19 minutes. Two one eight. Now the caller is saying one of the drivers of one of the vehicles ran away. We're trying to get a description. So. Native female Hispanic male. And the lady came 2423, I'm 44, fire can cancel. Four, four, fire, fire. <sighs> well, a little yelling and screaming, but uh, no crime occurred. She just told him to go to bed, and he didn't want to go to bed. She spoke English, but he didn't. But. Uh, It's good that people call when they hear yelling because it might have prevented something from occurring. Right, Pat? I mean, yep. You know, we'd rather get there earlier than late. I'm going to check that one out. Accident on deal. People started fighting and they ran. Might be, might be a stoli. Happy Code 4, 23 minutes. Is there a door? Is my door open? No, it's me, but I don't know where my... Which way did you your window? Right on the floor. Huh. Probably threw it out the door. <laughs> well, there is that. Was that Bravo 431? As long as we didn't lose anything else. Two zero two. Oh, I've got it. Two zero two. Was there a Bravo squad calling? PPV. CHS kill. Copy. Twenty one seventy. See a good example there. I mean, obviously we were over in the west sector in the. Like technically central over on West, right by Mickey's Diner, and all the East squads were tied up, so they were sending central cars. So made sense for us to try to help out. Two six eight. Yeah, two plates. Minnesota Hotel Charlie Kilo four three six and Minnesota Lima Bravo zero six zero three. But as you can tell, nobody was really that familiar with Prebles. We're Prebles. Heavy coming back outside the house. Right. Us, neither us, nor those central squads. I knew it was in that area. Yeah. 
Once he changes his call to it's suspicious, I'm going to add some notes. There are two squads on yeah. scene at that accident. What, what, what does it say to he Maybe can read the comments. Does it sound like people ran, huh? Uh, I think it was just people fighting. I don't think anybody ran. I'm okay. not sure. Two vehicle accident. They started fighting. Where's it at? Front and Dale. Your back seat is like this detail. Yep. Front and Dale. Driver, yes. Driver of one of the vehicles ran minutes. away. Ran away? Yes. Yes, medic. 25 minutes. Because he didn't want to fight? <laughs> Either that or he doesn't have a license or he has warrants or... But now there's three squads on scene. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna get on the radio here. Before you do that, yes. Hold on a second. Okay. So, uh, is the call? Is the let's go back to our normal radio traffic? We're I'm we're back. Out. I'm back on all the right channels. You're on three. Yes. Okay. There we go. Okay. Yep. Yeah. Twenty-seven fifty-five. 2755. And 2400 are clear from trouble. Copy 2600. 2800. 2800. Uh, for the don't know, there's neck pain. He'll want medic color scene. Copy, starting medics again at 26. I've come to really like those magnetic ones. Well, this one's too obviously too tight. Yeah, I don't like the magnetic ones, but this is the only first one in 47 years that's been that tight. <laughs> <laughs> I think I can bend it out, but but yeah, no, I I think Adam did that to me on purpose <laughs> just to try to get me to like the the you magnetic ones. Ah, uh -huh. go ahead. But I don't even use it. I just go. Can be GOA with comments out of Marks to Central. Right. Talk to to it. But, uh, Is twelve twenty seven. Oh, my. That was funny. That whole Audi thing it was a little funny. And backseaters, you would know this, but so we had a plan to go encircle the car was parked up against the building, which you did probably hear. And Nicole was going to be the lead because her car could take the damage more than the rest of the cars. And uh, so as she pulls in, I'm not sure if he saw her car or saw our car. She was first, but it's possible he recognized the Durangos, you know. But either way, he was already, he had already pulled out and was leaving. He was leaving, and Nicole says, let him go so he doesn't see us, okay? You hear that, right? Yeah. <laughs> and what does he do? He drives over an eight-inch curb, curb, down a hill. I think he actually ended up tearing the transmission out, didn't he? Yes. That's why he pulled over and stopped. I don't know how he got over that. Car. Oh, I thought we were going to have him hung up there. Right? Oh, me too. But it's like, okay. don't let him see us. I think <laughs> it was pretty funny. I think he saw us shortly thereafter. What up, cop? What up, what up? 327 or so. I'm going to take this off scan, okay? Oh, yeah, I put it on there when we go in. Right. That's why I was trying to make sure we got it because I had mine on two, and I thought you were going to transmit, and I knew it was going to come over <laughs> something. <laughs> How's the wild do? Hi, civilians! Hi. <laughs> <laughs> hey! Hey. What? Hey, anybody know where Detroit is? 
Anybody know where Detroit is? Do they still have? Hey. I think, they, it's in la- I think it's in like last place. Do they still have a hockey team there? Do they have a Apparently, hockey team or not? Not a good one. They got like <laughs> good players. That's about it. Like, it's on a but Boston, Boston is always I hanging in there. Isn't that cool? Isn't that cool? The Boston one? No. Oh, no. Yeah. Well, we can't really <laughs> talk. We're not, we're not like at the top of our game either. It's fucking awesome. Hey, who won the game tonight? Yeah, I'm straight well, down there. It yep. is. Go to Kellogg, yeah, go right, and it's about it, six blocks down. It yeah. is that way? Yeah. Yep. You guys, uh, That's what I said. Like, I'm just trying to tell them it's that way. Hey when, you like, get, hey, when you get to the XL Energy Center, take a right in front of it, and then yeah. you'll go down Kellogg. Are you guys going to drive that way? <laughs> Well, we got too much crap in our backseat. <laughs> I would say hey, hey, all night. If you were smaller, we might, if you were smaller, we might be able to squeeze you in. <laughs> what about this one? Go a little slower now. Yeah, we only Uber to one place. <laughs> you guys are great. Have a good one, guys. Awesome. See you guys later. Yeah. Oh, no, he was talking to I had to do that after they said hi, cops. Yeah. I had oh, hi, civilians. That's right. That's good. That was great. No, we got too much gear in the back seat. We can't give three people a ride. No way. Well, they don't need a ride. It's, the weather's nice. It's only six it blocks. It would probably do them some good to six, walk in the, six blocks. in the cool air. It's a safe neighborhood down here. We'd be giving rides everywhere. Plus, we'd be taking business away from the, the Uber, there the you Uber go. business in America. We don't want to do that. We don't want to be a strong supporter of the private sector. How's it going? How are you? Oh, good, good, good. I know you guys are big Mountain Dew fans. Oh, we are big Mountain Dew. Is that a new flavor? It's a new flavor. You had to do that to me, didn't you? You had to do that to me. You got a new flavor. What's it called? Game Fuel. Game Fuel? All right. Game Fuel. Game Fuel. What's this one? Citrus cherry. Purple. Oh, that's the purple thunder. That's that holiday exclusive one. There oh, you go, sure. Pat. I get purple thunder. You don't have another cherry. Oh, what's this one? I do. That is the other purple game field. That's okay. I'll, well, I'll, you do, can, uh, I'll do the purple. We're going to try them all. We're going to try them all. We're, <laughs> well, we're, we're official. We're Mountain Dew taste testers. Mystic Punch. That's all I, I Where, you, where do you get Thunder. these? I've never heard of Holiday. them. Holiday. Holiday? Holiday. Sam's Club. Or, I'm sorry. Cub 12 packs. You know what? I want them to make one. I want them to make one with a few less calories. Having mail's going back inside. Keep researching that. Keep Wait a minute. Clear. You know how they have like G2 is like half the calories? Now, somebody just said it has THC. It doesn't, does it? No. Okay. No, it would say right on it. Nope. No THC. No, it's got methamphetamine in it. So. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, 33 minutes. No, I can't sell pop with I've met you guys a couple times at the yeah. State Fair. And... Yeah, thank you. Yeah. Thanks. Yeah. For... This is very tasty. Well, let me try that one. Well, thanks for stopping. Hope you enjoy. Thank you. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. All right. Thanks. Thanks very one? much. You Thank you. Going. Now I got to go get Twinkie. <laughs> Which did you like better? Uh, toss up. Toss up? Mm-hmm. 300. It did taste a little less sugary. I kind of like that part. Uh, yeah. Can you get a chance? Can you get that uh, call to confirm I'm missing? Yeah. Thanks. Everybody's having fun, Pat. Yep. That's our job. Assist. We're Three fun assisters. We're fun assisters. Had lunch there the other day with uh, Steve Lydon and 
intel and cat and some Minneapolis officers. I hear some yelling. Yeah. Hello. How was your night? Yeah, no problem. Do you work here? I can't hear anything. Do you work here? Oh, I work here? Yeah, no. no. Hi. Hey, where are you going? Ramsey Wait, County? Waiting for an Uber? Uh, yeah. Ramsey County Jail? Only We only go to one place in this Uber. <laughs> I can see this probably not for my Uber. Hey. Have a Thanks. good one. A lot of intoxication outside that place right now. Yeah, that's okay. Hello. As long as they take an Uber. You want to, you can change this to a hit and run. No injuries. Copy. 5184. Now that mail party is calling up here, threatening self harm. 5187 Well, that's not good. Nope. Trying the third one? No. Fourth one. 300, I copy that as well. Back to, He's trying, back to the original. He's trying the fourth one. Thanks for giving us all three. Wait a minute. Where'd that go? Huh? There it is. That may be my favorite. Yep, I gotta give Citrus Cherry Game Five, two, three. the winning, two, two, three. the winning score. Clear GOA, 220, 215, you can send me the DOC. W223 with a squad to assist at 508 Humboldt Avenue for a disorderly unsheltered female that's hanging around in the lobby. You know, I'm always trying to look at the you positive we'll side of things, you know? Mm -hmm. you, my, oh, you definitely do. My my daughter lives in Grand Forks. You know, she played hockey. Kelsey, she played hockey for the University of North Dakota. And still lives there, obviously. And has four kids. And the reason she ended up living there is, you know, she met someone while she was at college. And thankfully, it's only a four and a half hour drive up there, but I don't get to see the grandkids as much as I would like. Right. Right. But, you know, her first year she went to school in Clarkson, at Clarkson University in New York, in Potsdam. But she was too far away from home. She, she transferred to the North to North Dakota. She played hockey at Clarkson. But here's my point. Even though it's a long ways to Grand Forks, be grateful that you're not going to Potsdam, New York, to visit the kids. No kidding. There is no easy way to get to Potsdam. What part of the state is that in? In the northern part of New York. Have you ever been to the northern part of New York? I have not. Would that be like where the Catskills are? A little further west of that, but yes. But yes, but the northern part of New York is like, except for the towns that are there. I mean, this is only 20 miles from Ottawa, Canada. That's how close you are. Oh, wow. Um... It's like being in northern Minnesota in terms of the remoteness. Okay. That's how remote it is. But there's no quick way to get there. I drove there a few times via Buffalo and Erie and through that way. I took a train once to Syracuse and then drove up. You can't. I flew into Ottawa once and then drove down. But you got to 
sometimes take two flights to get to Ottawa. Two and eight case number oh, two one six. Zero and plus, eight, those six. little planes that fly into Ottawa, I'm not flying them anymore <laughs> in the winter time. <laughs> so, although Ottawa is a beautiful, beautiful town, it's the capital of Canada, and it's just gorgeous. Um, but Montreal, of course, is considered the big Montreal and Toronto, right, are the bigger towns. But the moral of the story is the glasses half full, it's only four and a half hours versus 18 hours. You know, it's a big difference. Took the Amtrak once there to Syracuse. Stopped in Chicago and Cleveland. Wasn't my favorite train trip ever. <laughs> Anyhow, top priority this holiday season, getting some time with those grandkids. Oh, I'll bet. Keep it pretty safe down here. Proud of that. Hey. Gentlemen, what's up, guys? Backseaters. <laughs> when we get over that way, I could use a, an M and H stop. Sure. Please. Gladly. Gladly playing Tuesday for a hamburger today. <laughs> hey, by the way, did you see on the news? They're selling cool. all the retro retro games at the at the children's <laughs> game stores. Decision, they say it was an occupied stolen. We missed that. What is that suspicious call with that vehicle? I didn't understand what he said. He said it was an unoccupied stolen, or did I misunderstand? No, it was a car alarm going on. They reversed it. People are still in the car, not stolen at all. Address. We have new info stating that. Gabby, thank you. There Appreciate are it. two males at the address that were involved in a robbery of one of the cops' friends' house. Um, possibly have firearms on them, and that there's also underage drinking. What's that one? Then channel one just popped up. One nineteen. They have zero description. There are a lot of people there. We're not going to be trying to make contact with anybody there. There's no such thing as a registered firearm. So we'll do a drive-by. We don't need any of their help. Whoops. Copy. Forty-three minutes. Two three, yeah, I saw that party up there at uh, 326, 320 sure, University. There's a big party taking place, sort of part of the Hmong New Year. Way back, that was the old Teamster building, I think. Oh, yeah. Okay, you can put your as well. Yeah, I need to go. There's our old police department there. 101 East 10th Street. Grand old building. On the right. One of the interesting things about studying history is a lot of the Old explorers used to keep journals. Lewis and Clark, Zebulon Pike. Mm -hmm. So you can kind of, you can read through their journals along the way. And, uh, kind of interesting in a way. 
going to run up to that call. There's a call up here about a man with a gun. Of course, the officers advised, and rightfully so, that there's so many people there, we're not going to... We're not going to try to figure out which one of them has a gun. Well, we haven't hit outside of that stolen that Nicole lost. She fled south. Stolen activity today, have we? No. The one that. Squad 223, LB 23, is watching from a distance. Anyhow, next year we are going to uh, find a way to get the camera to come out of the car with us. On calls that are appropriate to do that. When, wouldn't be on all calls, but even if it's from a distance, just to change your view, we have the ability to do multiple cameras. So, you know, if we bring Jelly Joe with us, but I'm sort of thinking bringing, bringing civilians, Fran and other analysts, mm -hmm. you know, with that uh, don't have police powers, but are very, very helpful to have with us because they can be on the computer. Yep. So they could be the they could be the CAD person. Well Fran was very popular during the live he was out with me on. Yeah, it's not unusual, I mean, to have some type of conflict when everybody's in town. But to the Hmong community's credit, the gang problem Checking has really speakers, dissipated, right? Over Very the years. Oh, a fraction of what it once was. Yeah. We always said once those gang members had children, they'd turn their lives around and became more responsible. That was well, it large true. Uh, 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 Obviously, it's not just a monkey party, is it? No. None of the names mentioned with Hmong. Oh. Oh, the building's owned by the Hmong, though. That's what it is. That's why it said on the thing here. Here at Hmong 18 Clan Council. Mm -hmm. So I thought it was a Hmong party, but... So did I. It's definitely not. Good, how's it going? Staying peaceful? Good. How's the holiday? Wonderful. It was great. It is 1245. I am ending it 127. 127? Because the property manager wants to come and lock the place hey, up. Step Mr. over Lee. here a minute. Now, is this, the, is this the Hmong building? Yes, Mr. Lee's building. Mr. Lee's building? Yes, sir. And so how many you got up there, do you think? I have, I count a count. We well, had about 312, but yeah. now it's, it's decreasing. What's the occasion? This is an event thrown by uh, 
one of my clients, he's uh, with one of the Somali community. Uh, he throws like one of these holiday parties, like he's throwing a New Year's party yeah. for, uh, for the U of M kids that didn't like go to go go anywhere for like the holidays. Smart. Like, he throws like these parties sometimes, like for the holidays. Well, for, like, it's not. It's not just Somali kids, though. Obviously, no, right? no, 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 no. no yeah. But it's a, he's yeah. he's with the because uh, it's, it's like a it's like a group of them. It's like fifteen of them. Like yeah. they all group yeah. up and they get their money and they all throw this one party. Like so, uh, let, yeah, step yeah, over yeah. a little closer. What's your first name? My name is Devarius Clark. Devarius. Did the St. Paul guys yeah. stop here and talk to you at all? Yes, sir. Did they tell you there was a report of a guy with a gun? No. Okay. Well, that's why they're stopping by. There's supposedly someone called and said someone has a gun inside. No, sir. I, yeah. We are we are licensed. Yeah. We have me, me and my guys. We are licensed. Yeah. Those are the only people that have firearms. Yeah. These these were supposedly some teenagers. No. No, so no. you're are you metal detector? In them yes, or? sir. I have a metal detector right there, and I have a metal detector upstairs. Okay. Yeah. Well, we don't have we don't know whether they're inside, outside, or snuck in, or whatever. No, no. We're just letting you know. Yes, sir. Uh, I got I got a I got a I got a a, a a a tail from one of the guys in there. It was like it's a gun in there. So I ended up doing that earlier. That was like at a, what time was that? That was at uh that was at like ten when I got the word that there was a gun in there. Yeah. So I ended up getting the guy that said that there was a gun in there, and I was like, where is the guy that you said there was a gun in there? So he showed me the guy, and I'm like, I patted him down myself. Yeah. That is, he does not have a gun in there. So I well, we don't want to take you away from your business, no, but you, no, no, you, know, you know how this is. leaving, literally. Uh, yeah, the, the fights always start at the end. Yes, sir. You know yes, sir. that, right? You've done That's this why, enough. Uh, literally, before you guys, when I saw your lights, it was two girls up there arguing. I was trying to get them to calm down for Kind of looked like they yeah, were. Yeah, so, I, so they ended up. Walking down. How much help you got in there? I have three, and I have one in the back room. So four, including yeah. me. Yeah, that's good. That's good. Because they're in the back room. Because this exit right here. Yeah. It, it, it leads through where the bathroom is. Oh yeah. And you can come right down and come right out. But it has the emergency, the emergency button on where it has like the stop. This oh, is the emergency. Sure. Did they exit. charge a cover? Yes. What was the cost? It was five bucks. Five bucks. And was there some people that were here that were mad that they didn't, they couldn't get? Did you did you lock yeah. them out after a while or not? Um, because a lot of times people call because they can't get in. You know well, what that what is. Doing, he was uh, his, he had some promoters down here that are cash happening, yeah. taking cash. So what I was doing, I was telling them you to have five minutes to figure out you're going to do cash or cash app or card. So I gave them a little time, and then they just figured out either I'm going to stay, or I'm going to go, I'm going to come in, and it's just like going to flow. So people have been coming and going all night. And there was no drama? No over drama. It? it was just that one drama where people were like, it's a gun in here. So I ended up going upstairs, doing my checks again, just making sure I'm just double check because I know. I looked at the guy, I was like, there's no way he has a gun in here. Like, look at what he is wearing. I checked him thoroughly. There's no way, and I have a guy in here. So it's like, that. I don't know. All right. Well, thanks for visiting with us. Go take care. You're, you're, you're kicking them out at 127, yes, huh? Yes, sir. I am kicking them out. Like, everybody's decreasing, literally. And then uh, they end up turning out the music. So people are decreasing right now. Well, you know what? The biggest, in the next half hour, you know what they got to do, don't you? Oh, yeah. Hook up. Yep. <laughs> yeah. I, I, well, they're trying to figure out that out now because it's just been a lot of girls leaving. Like there was, I let mostly girls in first. Yeah, that's the way it should be. Now, so. That's the way it should be. You let yeah. the girls in free, yeah. and then the boys got to pay the ten. Boys are following. Oh my god! <laughs> they're following. You see, they're, they're they're leaving now. Yeah, because they're leaving. Well, you, we want you to go in there so you can make sure everybody's safe. Yes, sir. I'm gonna go upstairs and just we'll be in the na- we'll be in the neighborhood. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Thank you. Thank you. So thank you. What's your I- name again? Bob and Pat. Bob and Pat. Yep. I am DJ. I go by DJ. My name is Devarius. Bob and Pat. So nice it's to meet. A blessing to meet you. Good guys. to meet you. Nice DJ. to meet you. Thank you so much. God bless. Yes, sir. You have a good. Nice man. Mm-hmm. Nice man. Mm-hmm. Nice man. Someone 
Okay, you want to hear a funny story? Sure. I always want to hear a funny right. story. So, the guy calls me. All right. Going to remain, remain, remain anonymous. The guy calls me and says, Bob, somebody stole all of our Christmas decorations from the front of our yard. You got a bottle right in front of you. Yeah, snowman, Santa Claus. It's not good. What time do you think? I, I don't know. I said, well, do you have any cameras? No. So they took the extension cords too and the blowers to blow them up. You know, they were inflatables. I said, bastards, right? <laughs> I said, well, have you made a report yet? He said, no. I said, all right, well, first thing you got to do is you got to itemize everything. You got to figure out what is gone, because if it's over a thousand, it's a felony, right? Right. And there could be a gross misdemeanor, but see, see what you can come up with for costs. I said, I'll see, I'll check to see if we've had anybody else's Christmas decorations stolen, you know? Right. So I hang up and I'm researching, uh, you know, whether the other things are stolen. 15 minutes, he calls me back. I said, yeah, I'm figuring he's got some new information. He said, well, you're not going to believe this. I said, well, I pretty much heard it all. He said, well, probably not this one. My dad just came over and he said, I brought in all that Halloween decorations that you had out there last night. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Unbeknownst to him, the family had put out, had already swapped it, put out the Christmas decoration. Oh, no. Yeah. Case solved. Yeah. <laughs> that was pretty funny. That's hilarious. That was pretty funny. <laughs> I brought in all those Halloween decorations. <laughs> oh, his father is a very, very helpful person. Oh, he's, he's always yeah, helping him, but... Just get Santa and, and goblins confused. With well, each other. you know it's probably dark, and they're all when they're when they're when they're deflated. Yeah, you that's don't know true. what they are. You, oh yeah, you, yeah. You, you, <laughs> unless you inflate them. I brought in all those Halloween direct decorations for you. I went to and see the movie three. Next Goal Wins. Okay. Semi true story. Hockey, I take it? No. Soccer. Soccer. Okay. Samoa. Samoa soccer team. The Sherman or Housing 310 West 7th Street on a disorderly. Her caller, the tow truck driver, said they, that he has a. They won their stop. first a soccer game over Tonga. At the conclusion of it, but they hadn't scored a goal in 15 years. <laughs> in what? 15 years. Oh, you're, oh, wow. This was like 2000. They just got the vehicle unhooked. 11 or something. But. And it's going westbound 7th Street. Minnesota Hotel Julia Bravo Pipeline. You want to check that out? Driver is a female. Well, let's go see if we can jump. Did you try to get copy? Tow truck driver was getting ready to tow a red Jeep Patriot. And Two three tango sound like the red Jeep just crashed into another Jeep Cherokee and continued westbound. Forty four fifty five tango. And now northbound Smith. Northbound Smith. Well, Two three tango copy. Happy fifty nine minutes. If the. Uh, Address on the RO is right. They're probably going to try to get to 35E. Okay, right up here. Yep. What, what, what was the deal?
deal? Oh, he's towing it and she pulled away? Or she what? unhooked it. Well, what was he towing it for? I don't know. I mean, I don't know if it was being... But she's done a hit and run now. Yeah, well, she's got to come up this hill. Yep. If she's northbound on Smith, we should be running, seeing her any minute. I'm going to head to a call on West 7th. 314 minutes. Is that her? That might be. CJG. Oh, that's a guy. Sometimes people get North and South Smith mixed up. This would be North Smith right here. Two Jingo, now there is a correction. I'm trying to get clarification on. There also might be a Nissan that's with the red Jeep that was a striking vehicle. In the hit and run. Northeast. HJB on the plate. 5284. Not sure if it's related. There's another call in pending at 2128. Boulevard. Well, if she didn't come this way, if she was coming up Smith, then she had to go up this way, right? I don't know, they all look like Jeeps down there, but that doesn't make any sense for her to go back that way, does it? For the suspect here, we get with a male 5'9", heavy build, wearing a white hat, oversized white hoodie. So if it came Smith from 7th, you could go right or left, right? I don't know. I see nothing up here. There's a Jeep in the hospital right there. I couldn't tell what color, just dark, that's all I could tell. Well, is it parked or lights it's on? It's lights on in the little turnaround. Okay. What's that one over there? Flash. 518. I can't tell. Okay. Go ahead. Trip that up. Copy. You are in route to 490 last and we just got a cancellation. All parties have left on that fight. Cover that. We'll clear it out. I think it's a Jeep. Yeah, it is like a compass or something. Yeah, and we're looking for that. Oh, well, we're this way anyhow. That's a plate? That's not it. Okay. It's red, though. <laughs> what kind of Jeep are we looking for? Compass. Oh, yeah? What was that one? Um, I think... I think that was a Liberty, but I'm not sure. Okay. Uh, what color is that? Well, it's not red, but it's definitely blue, but sometimes people get blue and red mixed up. It's not it either. It's not it. Oh, yeah, that's not Well, that's yeah, on its rim. Like he was involved in an accident. Uh, somebody stole the tire. No luck on our end. What was that? No luck on our end. Yeah, I had a feeling it probably got on the freeway. I wonder if that's related or not. It's missing a whole tire. <laughs> okay. We'll keep looking. Thanks. Right, thanks. Where was the accident? Did it say? Five. 310 West 7th. Is that left? I believe so. Yeah. Yeah. Everything was a vehicle that was struck by the Nissan. It's going to be Minnesota Lake Golf, Alpha Sierra 896. I copy. Okay. Now I'm confused. Did the Nissan do the striking or the Jeep? 
Uh, Not sure. Was flat. Uh, Nine one one. Six one six. Transfer eight. Oh, okay. You just said the Nissan didn't strike it, right? Oh, okay. I, but originally they said the Jeep did this. Yes. Yeah, the area ten fifty four rolls out. No, nine one only phone. Did you know? Did you, did you see the? I won't mention the name, but remember that gun incident at Como last week? Central. Carl three six five. Carl three six five. Como. It's Como. Our, our friend. Yeah, it was Como though. Mm -hmm. Huh? Heard shots fired in the area. Well, you got more than one too. Well, he goes to Como. Another one. Um, we're back there. Yeah. Well, I. I... And what's going on, Shooter? Happy. Morning. I wonder if I can one. Well, actually, now that I think about it. And what I want to copy. The story didn't actually say. I'm clear from this. And we all was a fight in front of the truck park. Which school it was? Didn't fight in front of the truck park squad out there. Ma'am, step over here, will you? Other side of the car. Step to the other side of the car. You got her? Yeah. The other side of the car. Step around the car. Can you talk to her? Yep. Hi, what's happening? Is this your boyfriend? Yes. Okay. Is there anything physical going on? No, we were trying to get that way. Okay. Would you share that information with that officer right over there? Sir? I was trying to get away. From him? From everything. There, but were you also trying to get away from him? No. No? I was trying to get everything away from him. Him away from everybody. Okay. Where, hey, do you guys live close by? I live in did, did you guys go into somebody else's car? What? Did you go into someone else's car? I did not go into anybody else's car. I was trying to get him away from everybody. Okay. Did he accidentally go into somebody's car? No. That he thought was his own, maybe? He was trying to get away from anybody else. We're going to hand this one off to you. This young lady was with him. Which one? Right over here. Sweet. And this is the security guard claims that they were broke into somebody's car and were having sex. Okay. She denies that. Well, we're going to hand her off to you. Yeah, do it. You guys. I'm going to hand it off to you. I'm going to hand it these handsome officers right here are going to talk to you. Okay. We, we can go to the sidewalk. They're, they're going to drive, so we don't want to get to So we'll let them go here first. See you guys. Go All right, good to see Thank you guys. You. Thank Thanks you. Thank you. See ya. See ya. So, security guard said they were, they broke into a car and were having sex. And that lady was walking down the sidewalk. She was... Oh, my. But... Of course, you obviously she denied that, and there's a little intoxication going on. Well, just a bit. But they are also arguing. It's just like the Native American woman. She was just telling them, "Go to bed." Universe, we just got a DOC, three two four University caller saying there's oh, there party at the address and a lot of chaos outside. There we go. 100 to 200 people. We better go back there, don't you think? I guess. 324 University. That's yeah. the party we were at. Can you get the comms center supervisor call? You knew that that was going to happen, though, right? Yeah. Clear, clear right. Let's keep going through that one. Go up here. 
You know all the good stuff happens after one o'clock. Always. We should just start working at one. <laughs> Stand by for impact. It's quite a great thing. You got 200 kids there. Shots so fired. Get, shots fired now? Yep. Yeah, I knew we should have stayed there. Excuse me. How's it look? Clear. Well, I guess there was a gun there, my friend, Demetrius. DJ, you missed it. DJ, you missed that one. Of course, it was probably in the parking lot. It probably. The one I gave it an ambulance, I do we know why. Well, Mr. Clyde, it looks like it's something off of the of whatever's happening outside. There was a medical emergency with one of the party goers. Medical emergency? Happy there's a medical emergency with one of the party goers. That's what you call it. I'll look right. Pretty good? Average? Clear. Average above average? <laughs> Stand time. by for him. Now I'll take a medical call with Sean, an 18 year old. Not conscious, breathing fifth, unknown, passed out from intoxication. Passed out from intoxication. That was a smart move, Mr. Bravo 365, that's it. Medics are loading her up now. Copy, medics are with the patient. Next one. Clear. What's the house numbers here? I see. Under your vest. Even if you get a blind lead. 285. Okay, we gotta so, go to 320. So this is gonna be right. Okay. Your school boys. We should have taken the alley. And we still can. Maybe not. We're one short. Whoops. <laughs> it's alright, we're gonna go to the next one. Actually, I can, if he moves, I can get in that alley right there. I don't see any indication of that. <laughs> no. Oh, there he goes. I ain't going very far though. Alright. Oh, that didn't sound good. It sounded like a stop stick. Oh, that didn't sound good. <laughs> that didn't sound good at all. Alright. Well, looks like they haven't emptied out yet. Well, it's only 112. You said 127. 127. Well, that guy can't get through. What's he doing in the back back of that thing? Hey, did you hear a gunfire? No gunfire. No gunfire? No gunfire? Somebody get somebody uh, pass five. out or what? There are no other callers. It's probably it was fireworks that were going off over here. But if we can get squads to just move yeah. people along, yeah. the party is going to be gone now. Really? She definitely wasn't drunk. She was definitely on something. Was she breathing though, or was she on? Yeah, was no callers, she didn't have an overdose or something. All right. Thanks, guys. Thanks, guys. Appreciate it. Thank you. The squad says they believe it was fireworks. The fascinating part for me is talking to these kids and get a sense of the next generation. Maybe the next and the next generation. Everybody have a good time? Yeah. What what happened? Anything? We're the friendly police. <laughs> Chat. How you doing, guys? Did we have fun? Like fun Thank party? You. Thank There's you. No police. Ain't nobody getting away from you. We don't have this where I'm from. Oh, yeah. Where are you no. from? We Chicago, from what are they driving in New York? Crown Vicks? They just drive, yeah, regular dick car, you know? Yeah. 
Have gotcha. Have a good one. I know y'all catch anybody. <laughs> we, tr we try. Oh, you still can't catch me though? Where you at? Get in the fucking truck. I thought you were trying to die. What? You got a little boy. This is what I do. Oh, okay, okay. Call me, call me, call me. Abby. Uber. Uber X. Fancy Uber. I'm telling you. I bet you'd want to hey, ride dude, this I one. got one better. Just jump in a car and we'll chase you. Jump in a car and we'll chase you. Right now? Kid, then you get... This car is not catching my car. You know what kind of car I have? What, what do you, you got? A Hellcat SRT. Really? Is it here? It. It's is, right it, here. is it here? Want to hear it from here? You, here we want, here's the thing. Here. You know how many of these it takes to catch a Hellcat? <laughs> you know how many of these it takes to catch a Hellcat? How much? About four of us. Only four? Yeah. Wow. And then yeah. if we got a helicopter, only one. If we got a helicopter, though, it only takes one. I'm overtaking him. I'm leaving his ass in the Hello. How's everybody? Good. How are you? Good. Good party. He was wearing shorts. Back in here and get a little better angle on all these. <laughs> I don't actually smell much pot. Do you? Uh -uh. I haven't smelled well, that's, any. Well, that's to their credit. <laughs> Curbside waste. So we are at 324. Twenty-four University. I bet she's wishing she'd worn long pants right about now. Well, nobody could dress more scantily than that Halloween party we were at. Over oh. there in Wabasha. <laughs> that was oh, I wasn't at that one. Oh, you weren't? No, that was you and the Rev. Oh, jeez. That was ridiculous. So ambulance here is taking the young woman that passed out. There was a report of shots fired, but we believe now that it was fireworks. Yeah. Where's the hell kid? About 310 people that were in here as a party sponsored for kids that didn't go home for Thanksgiving from the university. And three security guards working here. something. I gotta see how these cruise lights look. They're supposed to just be solid. I don't know. You talking the undercarriage ones? Well, they're all supposed to be solid when they're in a cruise. I don't really know what I'm talking about, but, you know. <laughs> yeah, though. Might be when you're in gear. Come on. No! Whoa! Huh? Why is it? Looking 
good. Good, tell her. Great picture. So if you see any of your friends here leaving the party, call them and tell them they're live on patrol. One twenty in seven more minutes. Everybody gets kicked out. A legend. <laughs> looks like St. Paul's waiting. That looks like one of the guys that would run the thing. Hey, are you, is this your party? No, it's not. I would just do a security out there for that. Security? Okay. Oh, you're one of the security guys? Yeah. yeah. Are okay. you leaving now? Was that? Are you leaving? Yeah. Well, they're not all out of there yet. They're all out. Are they all out? Except the, the stuff they're just cleaning up. Okay. That's all There's about. a lot of cars out here still. But. I mean, they're still in the parking lot. I can't do nothing in the public. Uh, okay. No party, problem. So. No gotcha. problem. So. Yeah. Not, that, you won't concern me, so. Well, we'll be out of the building. We'll be here. There you I go. Paid, I'm trying to go home safe. I don't blame you. Go, you. Have Thank a good you. night. You Thank you. Good night. you. Good night. Uh, kind of yes. Yes. Oh, okay. I thought you guys uh, were St. Paul, but. Oh, uh, they're here too. We got everybody here tonight. All right. We got everybody. You get top Thank priority. You. Top care. priority. Some of these kids are walking the wrong way. Never look back. I could, uh, it's too, I could actually uh, go for some turkey leftovers right now. Stolen or it's all like that. Pop a golf Going five. Vehicles not stopping. Taking off westbound on Maryland. We're gonna go. That's night up. One more team. Vehicle not stopping. Taking off westbound. No passing. It's all night up. Are you in pursuit? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. All night up. We're canceling. They're westbound Maryland. Copy. Well, copy, not pursuing, last seen westbound on Maryland from Oneida, Minnesota Place. Oneida? Papa, Golf Sector 918, the 2011 Ford Escape, Silver and Cooler, registers 2939 Aurora Avenue. Northbound Cornwall. Copy, northbound Cornwall. Oh, fine, we'll catch up to that one. Make sure Suki's on it. You guys monitoring this one that took off from St. Paul? Yep, yeah, not too far. Is that Como Place it turned north on? Mm -hmm. My brakes are squeaking again. What did he say? Did you say? He went past what? You lost him? Yeah, but if you just saw him again, they're probably going 50. I'll get you the cross streets here in a sec. Just went past Arlington. Copy, 123. Copy, Arlington. It looks like Victoria. Victoria, Northbound, Southern Avenue. Covering Silver Ford Escape.
The old boxy style Ford Escape. Chatsworth. I was lucky I didn't take cold line because I probably would have hit the train. What's the plate pin? PGV 916. 164, copy the request cancel. No beat up disease. Let's go and I'll show you there. Female matches the description of the protected party of a protection order. That's the Bravo 365. I'm thinking might have gone uh, West. right over to Lexington. Clear. Copy one. 3 just info for Ramsey County. I lost an older silver escape at Carpenter and Dale. They went northbound into Roseville, and it was probably our car because it's driving pretty fast. Larpenter and Dale. That was the old one that he lost. Copy possible matching going northbound into Roseville from Larpenter and Dale. Is that so a high rate? Right is that now. Just now? Right now. Yep. Well, but it's the register to an explorer, right? Escape. Oh, it does register to an escape? Yes. <laughs> that was the car we just passed there, I assume, right? You mean the squad? Yeah. That was Larpenter and Dale. He yeah. was coming back. For LPR, his looks like it. Uh, Three Punch Ray Street, 40 off. Copy, they have been advised. Contact over there. Between like 36 and Maryland, top on both. Stopped once at secure and split. Other than that, just like it travels on Ray Street frequently. There's no problem with it. Did you allow cars to go out of the city at all? Citizen. I 
I know you don't want to be critical of another department's policy, but would it been a, this whole thing been a lot simpler if they could have followed it for two more minutes? No, um, don't know Maryland, I don't see it. Well, it's going to turn again. 7126. Yeah, we all cut over on Arlington, maybe. It's probably so it's 5143 right at Oak Drive on the Mrs. like an 11 year old male not feeling well and vomiting. No, not the right year. south on Rice Street. I mean, that would have meant that he went north on Dale to B, cut down B to Rice, then went south on Rice, right? Yeah, it's all a matter of just an extra two minutes. Yeah. You know? And we'd all be there. Bringing people into custody. They're home? Alright. Thank 21, you. Bye. Bye. Is he on South 135E? Oh, South 135E. I'm hungry, Pat. Mm. And we got to go to M&H to get you a restroom, right? Yes, we do. You know, they only Hi, have man. one restroom now. What we got there? What was that? Nope. What color are we looking for? Silver. Older one, right? Uh, yeah. Real squared off looking.
You know, the other story that I read that was interesting, of course, the Mankato hangings of the Native Americans that were involved in the battle that they had. There were 308 scheduled to be hung. President Abraham Lincoln insisted that he review every file. I thought that was interesting. Mm -hmm. The president cared enough about the relationship. He reviewed every file, and, and of course, a lot of the trials were hearsay, not really reliable information. And what was that one? No. And, uh, Check your laptop. He commuted the death sentences of 260 people on the list. And there was 38 that were hung. Mm. But uh, I just thought it was interesting that the President of the United States would have taken an active interest into reviewing the files of 308 that were proposed to be killed. And, uh, I mean, I've always been a fan of Abraham Lincoln. That was... Someone argued the other 38 shouldn't have been hung either, but my point is he was not afraid to step in and Yes, sir. Hey, buddy. Yeah, we code for an occupied one thirty seven. Good, how about you? Yeah, but I can I can talk on the phone. Uh, no, but mute that, will you? Okay. Yeah.